Good Sunday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your ENC weather update for this November the 24th, 2013. It was a gorgeous day today, but it was downright cold. Actually, the high temperature today was uh, early this morning, about midnight, and temperatures this afternoon only in the 30s and low 40s. It was a downright cold day across the east, and the north wind really wasn't helping, and that's what we were expecting today. Going into tomorrow, same type of scenario, a little bit warmer, the winds calm down, but our main story is obviously this low pressure system that will be affecting us, uh, especially Tuesday into Wednesday, so let's go ahead and talk about that here in the uh, forecast update video. All right, here's a look at current temperatures as of this 8-15 hour. We're currently at 25 degrees in Greenville. It is downright cold out there, and we're only going to fall from there. 31 at Goldsboro, 30, uh, 27 at Kinston, 26 Keenansville, 28 the current temperature at Jacksonville. Look at the dew point numbers. All in the teens in single digits. So very dry air. This is that Arctic high pressure system that has uh, definitely muscled its way into the area. Winds are currently out of the north anywhere from about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Uh, they are going to go fairly calm tonight as we go through the overnight hours. So that's going to set us up for radiational cooling. Uh, that's going to be the clear skies, calm winds equals cold temperatures. So uh, definitely a cold night in store for us across eastern North Carolina. Here's a look at the rundown. Still chilly for Monday as the Arctic high pressure system moves basically on top of us. Then we're talking about that coastal low pressure system. This is going to be a pretty nasty deal, especially Tuesday into Wednesday. And then uh, cold, but uh, at least clear as we head towards your day on Thursday for Thanksgiving. Here's a look at satellite and radar. Just a couple of high clouds uh, streaming through. This is well ahead of the uh, system back off to the west, but a couple of high clouds uh, trying to is trying to streak across the state uh, this evening from the uh, northwest corner all the way down towards Wilmington. No major issues tonight. We'll stay clear through the overnight hours. Here's a look at our precision forecast model. And temperatures uh, on the model are running warm. I, I definitely don't think that Hatteras is going to be at 44 degrees. It's already down to 34 uh, as of right now. So uh, obviously that number can be discounted, and a lot of these numbers are going to be discounted as well. Most areas will be dropping into lower to middle 20s inland. A couple of the cooler pockets may drop into the upper teens. Then uh, east of Highway 17, that's where we're going to see the middle 20s likely. Uh, places like Washington, Swan Quarter, Columbia, back over towards Elizabeth City overnight tonight. So definitely a cold night. Tomorrow it has good handle on the temperatures there. Uh, we're only going to make it to the lower to middle 40s. So it's going to be a cold day again, but thankfully the winds won't be so bad. Sunny skies throughout, but there will be a few clouds trying to sneak in through the afternoon hours. Won't be any issues uh, with that. Uh, but uh, we will continue to see the clouds increasing through Monday evening and into Monday night. Uh, temperatures Monday night will drop into the 30s. Now, I will say this. Likely Monday night, the, the temperatures will hold somewhere in the low to mid-30s and then rise from there as we head through the overnight hours into early on Tuesday as the warm front lifts northward. And uh, that's with our coastal low pressure system. So let's get a look on what's going on. Cold front off, off the coast, off the board. High pressure on con in control of us right now. What we're looking at mainly is this big system back off to the west. Obviously, we've got our midweek storm starting to get its act together. Rain showers, uh, even a mixture of rain and snow back off to the west. Surface lows off to the north over in Colorado. The upper lake level disturbance is down across Baja California and the Bay of California right now. All of this is going to come together and it's just going to be a nasty deal uh, coming up as we head towards Tuesday and into Wednesday. Here's kind of a look at what's going to happen. You've got the frontal boundary back off to the north and west. That is your Arctic front. That's the second front that's going to move through bringing the cold air on the back side of this. Uh, the surface low back off to the west as well. Here's the upper level disturbance still back off to the west as well. This is Monday morning, and we've got uh, showers across uh, places like Texas, maybe even some uh, some rain snow showers in the uh, deep east Texas, all the way into places like Little Rock, Arkansas. They've got winter storm warnings up right now over there in Arkansas. Uh, this whole thing's going to lift up and uh, really move through this area. Now, we head towards Monday evening. Still the same scenario. The low pressure system getting its act together. And then look what happens. We go into Monday, Tuesday afternoon, and the rain showers start to move in here as the warm front lifts northward. That's when we're going to see our best chance for seeing strong to possibly even a severe storm. Not thunderstorms, 
the uh, lapse rates in the atmosphere not conducive for lightning but definitely the potential for some wind energy to be transferred down to the surface and also just the fact that we do have some shear in the atmosphere and with boundaries they can do a lot of things so we're going to watch that closely i think late on tuesday into wednesday is when we could have that potential cold air starts to move in here low pressure moves off the coast and by the time we head towards thursday uh, we're clearing out and we're dry at that point and clear uh, you see six o'clock in the morning sunny skies and but it will be cold obviously high pressure and control and that's going to be one of those cold arctic highs so what are we thinking over the next couple of days we're putting into the orange category for heavy rain this is going to be a soaker and then a yellow category for damaging winds one to three inches of rain possible uh, out of this system this is going to be a heavy moisture rich system hail no issues and the reasoning why is because lapse rates aren't there for that damaging winds 25 to 35 miles per hour and that's outside of a thunderstorm or outside of a storm uh, we're gonna have some brisk winds out of the south as the warm front lifts northward once it gets out of here uh, the wind still will be northerly and breezy and then we'll make the mention for an isolated chance for a tornado not a huge issue but with warm fronts lifting northward and you have enough shear in the atmosphere you could get something to spin up especially on along that boundary so that's something that we're gonna be watching what are we breaking down? Strong gusty winds. And like I said, that's going to be outside of even storms on uh, with this system rolling up the coast. Heavy rain potential, one to three inches. And we do need the rain, but not all at once. Uh, you know, three inches in a shorter amount of time can do a lot of issues, uh, cause a lot of issues uh, for an area. Isolated severe storms out of the question. And like I said, that's going to be as the warm front lifts northward. After that, we're pretty much done with that aspect of things and it's also going to depend on the track of the low if it tracks a little further east uh, we get out of that warm sector if it tracks further to the west we're in the warm sector and that's something that I think we're going to hedge towards is that we'll be in the warm sector it's warm sector and also coastal flooding issues down East Carteret County southern outer banks uh, the core banks we're talking about you guys, uh, possibly some ocean overwatch, especially with the winds being persistently out of the south, 20, 25 miles per hour, possibly as high as 40 miles per hour with the gusts. Uh, it's definitely going to be one of those things where we're going to have water getting piled up, especially on the southern shores of, uh, of well, the, the shores of the southern portion of Down East Carteret County, uh, say like Davis Atlantic, uh, Beaufort, and then up towards, say, Ocracoke and Hatteras. Um, so, and Portsmouth Island as well and also the the south facing shores of the Noose and the Pamlico and as well as the Albemarle Sound will also get in on some of this as the winds continue to uh, push in from the south so a wide range of issues here uh, as we go into the next couple of days let's break it down with the seven day forecast 43 tomorrow no issues mostly sunny skies clouds building in through the overnight hours temperatures likely rising uh, Monday night into Tuesday warm front lifting northward the temperature will kind of bottom out somewhere in the uh, low and mid 30s and then come up from there through the overnight hours 57 and we're actually going to be rising all day on Tuesday it's going to take all day to get to 57 and that's about sunset after that sunset 57 will be the low temperature but we're still rising with the temperatures up into the 60s uh, we'll go low mid 60s on Wednesday rain wind all likely as we head towards Tuesday night and Wednesday I think that may be the uh, prime time is going to be Tuesday night into Wednesday once the front gets out of here and the low lifts out and the back side moves in the winds will kick in and uh, out of the north and that's going to drop the temperatures dramatically through the latter half of the day on Wednesday uh, we're going down to 31 now if there's some moisture still left it over on the back side of this we could have a little bit of a switch over not going to call that just yet but definitely the possibility is there um, if we do have that uh, that cold air wrapping around and also just enough moisture still lingering Thursday turkey day looking good it's going to be cold it'll be windy temperatures in the 40s we'll go mid to upper 40s on Friday mostly sunny skies slim chance for a coastal shower and that's the same story for Saturday and Sunday no major issues there partly cloudy skies Saturday and Sunday and we're back into the 50s obviously once we get past tomorrow the coastal low pressure system turns into the big deal 
and uh, we're going to have to watch it very, very closely as far as the wind potential is concerned, the heavy rain potential, and the potential for even a couple of strong to severe storms. Uh, like I said, not a slam dunk on the severe storm aspect, and even the uh, frozen precipitation on the backside, not a slam dunk either. So we just have to watch the trends, but we have a good idea of what we can expect as we head towards Tuesday and into Wednesday. A lot of folks are going to be traveling Wednesday and Tuesday. Uh, if you can leave as early as possible on Tuesday, that's the best idea. Wednesday may be pretty nasty out there. And then at least Thursday looks good for your family activities. If you can leave on Monday, that's the best thing, is probably to leave on Monday uh, with the system rolling in. So if you can leave tomorrow, that's the best idea, or early on Tuesday. All right, so stay up to date with us on Facebook, Twitter, WNCT.com. Uh, next update here will be a couple of days from now. I'm taking a, a vacation, heading home for the holidays. Uh, uh, I'll be back here on Wednesday, December the 4th. Uh, with the next update video. Uh, may have an intermittent uh, update video uh, coming in on probably tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on how this this low kind of interacts. Uh, so be looking out for that. But, uh, Chief Meteorologist David Sawyer will be in all week, and Don St. Jones in all week as well on the morning side, as well as uh, they're going to uh, take care of my weekend duties uh, next weekend. So I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, a great day tomorrow, a great weather week ahead, great Thanksgiving. Uh, thankfully, the weather will be cooperating for us for Thanksgiving, but obviously be safe if you're going to be out and about Tuesday and also Wednesday with this uh, system that's going to be moving through the area. Y'all have a great day.